Hello, hello and welcome. My name is Wumpy and today I'm making a video to try and help you guys set up your replay option on your Streamlabs OBS. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you need to do is you go to your settings down here and then you would go to your uh, output tab and top you would see streaming, recording, audio and replay buffer. Some people's one uh, options are different. Um, just make sure you're on advanced over here and then you get your replay buffer. The first thing you need to check is if your replay buffer is enabled. When you Make sure you enable it and also um, the, the time that you get down here, mine's for instance on 20 seconds, that's the replay buffer um, t time in seconds that you would like to um, have it played back so if you put it on 30 um, don't go higher than 30 I would I would suggest 30 is maximum but I reckon 20 seconds is good so I'm, I'm, I'm using on 20 seconds for, for my video so um, I think 20 seconds is a good one so make sure you put it on 20 seconds but maximum 30 seconds so that's the the allowable time you give the replay time to go back and play the action part that you would like to see on the replay so that's your first option you need to make sure your replay buffer is enabled all right, so then once you've done that, you go over here. Now this is where the fun part starts. All right, so before we start um, adding the replay scene, there's one more thing. Um, if you go back to settings and you go to general tab and you scroll down to your output um, category, make sure your you have uh, enabled the um, automatically start replay buffer when streaming so which means whenever you go live it automatically starts uh, buffering the replay buffer right so just make sure that's ticked and then click done all right so now that we have enabled our replay buffer and uh, made sure that it will start automatically when you go live with your stream um, you'll notice at the bottom that little icon that says start replay buffer that's when you only when you press it you can test it on stream which we'll get to back later when uh, i've set up the whole thing for you guys so uh, you should have a little icon like that over there now but don't bother about it because it'll start automatically when you go live but we can test it on later what i'm about to show you guys is how to add the source obviously you have your mainstream by now hopefully if you're a streamer or a commentator or uh, for SLR or EGL, um, you'll have your stream set up already. So, but this is the one that you would like to know how to set up. For instance, you see there's my actual live footage and the replay. Whenever you press that replay buffer, it will automatically come in that block over there. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up this whole thing right here. Okay, so first, uh, what you need to do is add a new scene on the left hand side. Um, mine is mainstream and that's my obvious my replay whenever I place my, for instance, my F2 key, it takes me to my main stream. If I press F1, it automatically brings up my replay. So we're about to create this exact same thing for you guys or try and help you guys to create it for yourself. So mine is already set up, but I will show you how to add and create this whole thing from scratch. So what you want to do is you press on the plus button to add a new scene. Let's call it uh, replay test. Right, that's done. So now we go have a blank screen. So first thing you need to do is you go over to your sources and you would like to add firstly your background that you have created for your replay scene. So you click on image, you, you add your source. Uh, you don't have, you don't use uh, one of your current ones. You just click on add new source instead. Let's give it a name and we'll call it uh, background. All right, and we add the source. Now this is where you collect it from your computer wherever you have um, created your um, graphic mine's on the desktop for instance I'll just open it and here we go so you click done and now this is going to be your background for your replay so you here over here you just adjust it the way you want it and it looks okay I'm just roughly doing it you can find it once you do your first test stream or um, without going live you can also test it I'll show you guys later on and then you can fine tune it the way you want and make sure all the videos will fall into its blocks which I will also show you how to do so the next thing you would like to add is um, of course your replay option your instant replay which is over here click add source uh, we call it instant replay that is fine um, and you click source so this will be your instant replay screen 
this is not going to be a live screen all right so you, this is your replay screen so what you want to do is you want to make it smaller to try and fit it into your replay box obviously which you have created like i have done this is my replay side so a little bit like that that looks okay uh, let's fine tune it a bit uh, it looks all right roughly so that's fine so the next one you would like to add is the game capture or display capture whichever one you are using for streaming in my case i use game capture uh, display capture is for, for someone that wants to do the live streaming directly from the desktop as i am doing at the moment but um, you would normally use game capture like i do um, in mine but i'll take display capture for now so you can see what i'm doing so i'm adding the source display capture and i click add source and this is the current display that i am seeing so once you press your replay button your live feed will go in here this will be your live feed let's just tune it a little bit that looks okay so this will be your live feed and this will be your replay whenever you press it all right so okay right so now that we have added all the sources that you we would need for your replay function to happen now we need to have a look at the um, settings and obviously the um, shortcut keys to make it work now what you need to do is firstly you need to go to your hotkeys and make sure when you save your replay you need to know what button that is this is under your, your normal before you go to the to your categories you would see mine for instance is replay which is that that's replay over there and then you would scroll further down you'll get the mainstream which is my mainstream over there and then just below mainstream you would get um replay test which we have created specifically for this video which is that one over there which we will work on right so to get back to the top um come on to get back to the top we would firstly under the under your main settings you need to set up your replay key now in my case i am using f1 that is to save your replay to tell your replay buffer right you saving the last 20 or 30 seconds whichever your setting was set to and save it to play it onto the screen into your replay um screen obviously or scene that you've that you've set up all right so whichever shortcut key that is f1 it needs to be the same key that switches to your replay test source all right so that key and that key to go to your replay must be the same key in other words then you switch to a complete new screen with your replay showing all right in my case it's f1 i'm using to save my replay but to to have my replay shown on screen while changing to the replay test you need to go to your replay well in my case replay um, so i go to my replay um, category uh, so that same key that you use there for save and replay you need to set it as well to switch to scene which means the moment you press your f1 key it automatically show save your replay at the last 20 seconds in my case and it will switch to your your scene which is in my case my replay all right but you would now do it on your replay test i'm not going to change mine because mine's all set up nicely and i've also struggled to sort it out and now that i finally figured it out i am gladly helping you guys to try and make it easier as there's not a lot of videos out there on youtube um clearly showing it so yeah, the guys show you how to set it up but they don't say anything about the shortcut keys in this case you know so just make sure that under your mainstream that f1 key in my case f1 to save the replay is the same key that you would set to your under your replay would say not test um or whatever your your replay function would be in your case if you if you call it replay it's fine and you call it replay it will show here so that f1 key save replay must be the same one to switch scene to the specific replay so when you press that f1 it will automatically go to the replay screen and save the last 20 seconds that you have want to see on the replay okay so that's the one thing then there's another thing um if you go to, to to switch back to your main screen after your replay has shown for the 20 seconds all right this is my mainstream see my mainstream i want to get back to my main view of my stream so in my case i've made it f2 to switch back to the screen so 
there you can see I've put switch to scene which is my mainstream scene I've made it F2 so and then you click done alright so what other words what I've created here is if I press F1 it automatically goes to but that is my mainstream alright so I'm on my mainstream and say I want to save I've got a great pause on someone I want to save it quickly and show it on my replay you press F1 it automatically jumps that like you've seen there from mainstream to replay um, like you've just seen I've set it up it shows my mainstream in there and it will automatically show the live the replay feed over here why it's not working at the moment is because my re my replay buffer is not running all right but what we can do is I will create a test for you now and I'll show you once I put the replay buffer on um, this is how you test it before you go to the live stream then um, you can see what it looks like so let's go back to my mainstream I'm racing uh, let's put my start replay buffer on. Let's just manually to test it. So our replay buffer is now running. Let's do at least just try and give it 20 seconds because it saves the last 20 seconds automatically, like I've said it before. So all right, say um, you're racing and you're doing a nice pass, and I quickly flick my F1 key to show my replay, and obviously the it will come up soon now. Um, well. I haven't done anything on my desktop, but you'll see my mouse moving around there over now. Soon, so that's my replay over there while maintaining your live stream over here. Right, and as soon as those 20 seconds are gone or you timed it, you think it's done, um, you just press your F2 key. Remember, like what I said, you, you need a key, um, shortcut key to go back to your main scene. So if I press my F2 key, I will automatically switch back to my mainstream from replay to mainstream over there. So it's quite easy. Right, so, um, right, so now that your um, settings and everything and shortcut keys is all sorted, there's one more setting that I need to show you guys. Um, this is actually very important, otherwise, you're going to have a blank screen when doing your replay and once your replay is done um, if the setting is not set properly you might have a blank screen so when you go to your replay when you've set up this replay you would go to you click on your re instant replay um, mine's off at the moment just there we go um, you click on your instant replay and you click on settings now this is very important over here all right now you'd you would see there's an option that says loop it says restart playback when sources becomes active so you tick that one and there's a very important setting here that sometimes is enabled automatically which was in my case it um, which it was um, it says show nothing when playback ends which means once you replay ends it's going to show nothing it's going to show a black screen which is not what you want right so you untick it and you save the rest of the options is all off you just untick it you save and you are all ready to go guys that is all i can show you and help you with your replay um i hope this video helped you guys a lot so um if there's any questions that you need to know or um, anything you would like to ask me just pop a comment in the section uh, like and subscribe to my channel and my steam account link is also down in the description so you can add me on steam and I'll gladly help you guys with any issues having around this um, replay option it's not that difficult but small small settings can make it not to work properly or not to work at all so hopefully this video helped you guys a lot and uh, i'll see you next time live on track bye bye